It's a library? I'm here in Battersham at one of seven libraries in the North London area threatened with closure under the City Council's new budget proposals. With Battersham Library's future hanging in the balance, campaigners are describing the proposed closure as an act of cultural vandalism. As you can see behind me, staff and patrons of Battersham are holding a vigorous and heartfelt protest. Guys, this is us. Where do we want them? In Where the am I? What do we want? Sir, why are you here today? Why am I here today? If they close this library down, where are me and my family going to get our books from? Hmm? Well, oh, I just noticed there's a bookshop over there, actually. And uh, Amazon, of course. Um, if this library closes, then that's my sex life out the window. Why am I here? Well, there's, um, there's many reasons. I think, um, what, stones? Oh, come on. I said way uh, more than that. Other libraries, there's one not far, actually. A bit bigger. Free Wi-Fi. As a coffee shop. Why am I here? Well, there you have it. Battersham Library is set for closure within three weeks unless a new source of funding can be found. Library manager Troy Bennett, pictured here in camouflage, has declined to comment. George O'Brien, BNC News, Battersham. Turn it off. London. Forget it. Don't you guys have work to do? Come on. Steve? <clears throat> well? According to the inventory, there's a book missing. I may be wrong, but, um... Could you look up 37-B? Can't believe we never computerized that record. No, take it up with Troy. My god. Damn it. How could you bring this thing into my library? Now listen, I don't want any more of your excuses. What are you, some kind of book queer? Back in my day, we used to read real books. You see these scars, boy? They're paper cuts from actually handling Real books! Do you know what this is? No, Grandpa Troy. It's my will. And you are not in it anymore. You, what's your name? Steve. Steve, you're my new grandson now. Tomorrow we go fishing. Huh? How you like them apples? Sir? Quit bugging me about fishing already, will ya? Sir, I think our financial troubles might be over. Oh, what do you mean over? This is an overdue library fee, sir. From 1989. What are you trying to tell me? Rory the Dinosaur, sir. The bookstore hasn't been returned. And if my calculations are correct, including annual fees, uh, adjustment for inflation, this man owes us approximately one million pounds. Who is this guy? Michael Foster. Am I speaking to a Michael Foster? Yeah. Hello, Mr. Foster. This is Steve Hadley calling from Battersham Library. Battersham? B Battersham. I've never heard of it. Yeah, we're having that problem. Uh, listen, I'm calling regarding an overdue book. No? 
Yeah, uh, Rory the Dinosaur. Uh, recommended reading age three to nine. Is this ringing any bells? Uh, look, there's no easy way of saying this, but you owe us a million pounds. No? Uh, sorry, I've got a call in the other lane. Hey, man. I am so sorry to hear about you and Rachel. Really sucks. Are you okay? I'll be fine. No, it, it's... Um, yeah, it's, it's fine. Listen, I'm on the phone to Battersby Library. Never heard of them. <laughs> yeah, they're having that problem. Yeah? Yeah, apparently I owe them a million pounds. I know what this is about. It's about Rachel, isn't it? But... No, it, it's not about Rachel, it's- It's a man, there are plenty more fish in the sea, okay? And you're a good looking lad. Alright, thanks. For your age. I'm 25. Really? Shit, when did that happen? Look, I know me and Rachel didn't exactly get on. Oh, don't start on that. No, just hear me out. Look, all I'm saying is, I'm here for you. Do you have a million pounds? No. Wait, what? I owe the library a million pounds. No one owes the library a million pounds. If this is a scam, they're not even trying. Look. Tell them if they want to pursue this. That your hotshot lawyer friend, Jason Smythe McDougal Hines, is going to take them to court and sue them for every penny they have. Jason, they're not idiots. Uh huh. Yeah. Right. Hmm. What is he saying, boy? Spit it out! He's saying that he's going to get his hotshot lawyer friend, Jason Smythe McDougal Hines, to sue us for every penny we've got. Hines, yeah. Oh yeah, I heard of him. Give me the phone. Now you listen to me, boy. I don't care if you got Hines. You owe me a million dollars. It's pounds, sir. Even better. Now you pay up, or my grandson's going to send the boys round. Do you mind if I put you on hold? Okay, sure, I'll Jason, this might be more serious than we thought. Did they believe you? No, but... Uh, kind of? Are you sure this isn't about Rachel? <sighs> Look, uh, this is not about Rachel. Rachel? Who's Rachel? This is Troy. Troy who? Bennett! Troy Bennett! Who's this? This is Michael. Michael Foster. Oh, yeah, you! You owe me a million dollars! Pounds. Yeah, pounds, whatever. Who's Rachel? Rachel, the Rachel thing, I, I, I was talking to Jason. The lawyer? No, uh, my friend. Ah, so who's he? How did you get this number? Never mind, you're confusing the shit out of me. You find this Rachel girl, and wait a minute. Send in the boys too. Are you doing anything? Jason! Jason, are you doing anything? Oh, shut up, you've never met my mum. Have you? I need a place that I can go because right now. What? Oh. Quick! What was quick? I'm on the phone! There are men outside my house. You're serious about this, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. How many are there and do they have guns? Two men. I didn't see any guns. But you've said it now. Oh, they're gone. There they are. We got him. Desperate times call for desperate measures, Steve. I mean, we don't even have Wi-Fi. I owe them a million pounds! Well, at least I'm trying to help you. Oh. Talk to me. We're inside the house. Captain, it's the president.